really touches my heart I give everything to you I like to repeat this third stanza just a cappella let's go Yeah. 
na katika hii story tunapoisoma ndio tunaweza kujua ya kwamba kweli Mungu alikuwepo Mungu aliweza kuumba na vile vinavyoendea ni mambo ambayo yameweza kunakiliwa katika Biblia what my prayer be is and the more distinct i think that's what separates our christian religion from even other religion because the christian religion we are talking about a god who acted in in the history of the scripture it was in the in the, in the history of the scripture we see god creating the world seeing a word and something is what is being done we see a god who is involved in creating man we see a god who is saving the children of israel from the what from the land of egypt we see a god leading the children of israel using the cloud during what during the day and the fire what during the night so this kind of uh, history that we see in the bible is very unique and very distinctive from all other religions and uh, i think it should form therefore the basis of our faith and strengthen us more and believe in god for example wakati tunazungumza juu ya wana wa israeli wanapoanza safari kutoka nchi ya misri kuelekea kana he is it how how do we think ya kwamba kulikuwa na wana wa israeli wakakuja how how can you prove ya kwamba this is not fake stories ambayo watu wameweza kuandika ili kukutukonifisi ya kwamba kulikuwa how how do you believe that how can we believe ya bible one thing we see in the scripture that's why now the archaeological facts comes in uh you know history is a narrative of the past and uh, sometimes and sometimes uh, people of the past may not be present today so that they can testify whatever that was there that's why historians and uh, some archaeologists can now dig a little bit deeper try to justify whatever that was written and if we can find some facts from the past then we can uh, be able to say that uh, indeed whatever they have said is true and it can be verified that of the existed actually if i can speak how can we prove this is that uh, the bible or, or even if we go to the present world the story of the bible which is still up to present in israel there are also scrolls that have been found proving that the bible is there is, is a history itself and it, there are many many records that have been traced back then yeah farao lit farao wa misri si alikuwa na si alikuwa huko hata kuna tumbo za zake kwa hivyo kama farao aliishi mbona mbona Musa asikuepo mbona tunaona ya kwamba eh wana wa israeli wasikuepo ni kwamba vitu kama hivi inatonyesha kwamba whatever is recorded in the bible it is the days it is history we learn ambayo tumekifundisha kutoka kwa biblia na mambo haya yalikuwa ya kwamba the bible it is a seed amen inapita vidao vile vingine ya kwamba the history ambayo you know to but here they are full of fact for example we get ya kwamba david alikuwa padre david kwa kawaida kupigana vita walipigana pamoja na Goliath na hapana mahali ambao walipigana na Goliath ziko katika katika kwa map ziko katika ile the the history is there today ya kwamba hapa ndipo walio vita ilivyokuwa inaendelea wa Christ na watukana na wa Israeli na vile vile tunaona ya kwamba David ameandika ameandika na kama hivi tusijele let us try to dispute the history that David did it believe if David did it believe Could we have Solomon? No, we couldn't have Solomon. And if we didn't have Solomon, could we have the temple of Jerusalem? No. Do we have the temple of Jerusalem? It, 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 it is there. It was there. It was destroyed and it was rebuilt. Jerusalem is there. This and this proves that Papa Bibiye ina ongea ni mambo ambayo yaliyoko. Ambayo tena yaliyoweza kutabiriwa. You know one thing we also want to learn from there there are people who may start disputing that maybe david and the solomon did not exist but one thing we should know that uh, after the fall of man god chose uh, god called abraham and it's from that lineage of abraham we see what 
Jacob and then Jacob is named God, Israel. So from that point, the mission of Israel is divine. It is, it is divine. And uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's why if you deny the existence of David, you are denying even the existence of Jerusalem, which we know is an historical fact. We can even right now we can go to Jerusalem. If you deny about the existence of David, you are denying about the temple in which we say which Solomon and the of Hanani are built. So, and when it, when you attempt to deny all, all of you are attempt to deny all these things, you want us to rewrite the history of what of the Israelites, and which will be possible and which will be denied the unique purpose in which God created them to perform. Yeah. Now, as we see. David lived, Solomon lived, and the monarch. Na tunaone ya kamba vitu ambao walio weza kuivanya, na vita ambao walio weza kuivanya, na vile walio weza kudeliver God's people. It is a true story ya kamba. They did live, and they are there, and the history, the history ya kamba 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 ya existed at that time. Now, for example, now let us go to Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Zemchari. Now, what can you say about these people? Okay, actually, I think uh, the Zemchari was a scribe, actually, and uh, he is writing an account of uh, Ezekiel was a king. And uh, if I can say uh, Ezekiel lived and uh, is a billion to God actually for 15 more years and uh, is being given but what we learn is about the history of these people when we read about this if I can go back to Solomon is that we, live, we, we read more scrolls about them and uh, where the, the, there is a monument that has a name of Damascus Road when he had conquered the, the Israelites, the king of Israel and the, 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 the city was besieged for one day. Because God has to deliver his city, he had to come in and so that to bring his people from bondage. So the history that we learn from Isaiah Zechariah is that truly God exists. Thank you. Okay. As much as God uh, do exist, now we don't know the story now Ezekiah to God that he can extend his days that he was on earth. Now, to now, then they are named some kings. Can we say that we did not have kings? We did have kings. And if we did have kings, and this word is written, it's about the kings which you did what? Did, did, did. How, how, uh, how more other uh, kings are meaning? You know who lived there and they were written in the history of the Bible and the back to the history books. Um, a very good example is uh, of this young man, the king they call Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great. Actually, yeah. in the books of history, in the books of history, Alexander he is uh, he's not to be one of the youngest kings. Not only Hadiani got to be Yes, but uh, you know, like uh, history records that he was there actually, and he was one of the mightiest rulers in the whole world. Yeah, we know there was a person like Alexander the Great. We have King Nebuchadnezzar. We have other kings who did really exist. Like we said, like the uh, Pharaoh was a king, was a, a king to the Egyptians, and another king that you know. At this point, can we talk about the King Nebuchadnezzar, for instance? Yeah. yeah, who we know that took some Hebrew to captivity. And uh, at the end of the day, we see that uh, this King uh, Nebuchadnezzar was saved and he accepted it. The, the God of Daniel to be the true God of the, or, or the creator of the heavens and the earth. Like now, we can say King Saul. King Saul didn't really uh, exist. 
and even even today we have got kuna vitu ambavyo vimewekwa katika maabara ni maabara unaita museums museums ambaye ile 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 the shield ambayo alikuwa anatumia ile mukuki alikuwa anatumia vitu hivyo mpaka leo yuko kwa maabara ina inaonekana inatikisha kwamba the history written it is real it is this people really existed and now we see like now in uh, the and we know that we have the Bible ambaye alisema ya kwamba when you, uh, you read the book of Daniel chapter 1 and Daniel up to uh, chapter 5 you see there is the book of at the end of chapter 5 and 7 ya kwamba is this not the city that I did what have been the I did book of ya kwamba hii nchi wa babeli ulio chengwa na nebukadneza mpaka leo hivi walienda wakafanya nini wale ni wafumbuzi wafumbuzi wale uh, the archaeologists waliweza kuchimba walipokuwa wanachimba wanapata mawe some stones hata zingine zimeandikwa nebukadneza zingine zimeandikwa yule kijana wake walikuwa na ngoza haya alikuja baadaye alikuwa anaitwa nani belsasa belsasa naye ni ya kwamba kulikuwa hata ile gate ile gate ilikuwa ndio the easter gate ilikuwa gate kubwa sana ya kwamba in fact kufunguliwa ilikuwa ni shida sana mpaka sasa hii ukienda jamani katika museum ya jamani we have that gate the easter gate it's imewekwa it pa the written one the written ones okay the written story in the, in the bible it is a true it is the thing that the people really know did happen and, and uh, maybe one thing that i want us uh, to learn uh, we are not just trying to go through history and trying to see the history some of the what we can learn from the past about what is in the bible but we also want to learn we also want to have a practical lessons we can see from the men in the bible that god used to write history for instance in daniel 1 verse 8 We say that uh, the Bible says that but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not divide himself with the portion of the king's delicacies nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested for the chief of the eunuchs that he might not divide what himself. This is one man I want us uh, to ask ourselves or to examine ourselves what can this one thing that we can uh, purpose in our heart to do so that God can also use us in God in his history. Because we see, it is because of the sanctity and the holiness in which Daniel is uh, sustained that God was able to raise him as a man of understanding, a man of knowledge, a man who had wisdom, a man now who could interpret dreams. And we see that uh, God was able to use Daniel in a very special way from the time of Nebuchadnezzar to the time of even of the Medobashi. Uh, at a very old age when we see even in chapter 6 wakati anafanya nini anarushwa in the den of what of lions but all through his faithfulness and his obedience to God is demonstrated throughout and it should be a challenge to us that like this young man Daniel that God used so much to write about the history and even to prophesy about things that shall happen in the end times that we have a duty as Christians to purpose in our heart to serve God honestly from our heart and dedicate our entire life to Him and by so doing God will use us in a very special way as we are preparing for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Now, as we, as we continue, let us now to be Angalia in the Old Testament. As we come in the New Testament, we see what, what do you say about Jesus Christ? Did, uh, Jesus Christ is, is historical This is the history how what do you say I, about Jesus Christ thinking of history i we know that christ okay we know from history that christ lived in this earth now there's just one verse i ever read luke chapter 3 verse 1 and it reads yeah? now in the 15th year of the reign of tiberius caesar pontius pilate being governor of judea and herod being tetrarch of galilee and his brother philip tetrarch of Ituria and the region of hmm, that one and Lysanias the tetrarch of Abilene actually in history Tiberius was a he was a ruler in this place in the year AD 27 
And that was the time when uh, Christ was, uh, I certainly believe Christ had been born. And uh, this fact, actually, we know very well that Christ uh, died in a certain year. He was crucified in a certain year. And he did his ministry for three and a half years. So Christ is not some historical, theory, you know, like some theory as people tend to perceive him. But he surely lived in this earth. Uh, quite some few years ago, we cannot say a million years ago, they are numbered based on the history. So Christ himself is, is a historical figure who is a, who is a true fact in the books of history. So we can say that Jesus is a historical figure. He was there. Na hata paka siku hizi, sinuana kuna watu huwa wengine wanaenda isa ya likuangalia maani ambaye aliweza kupitia, wanaangalia pale milima ya Palestina ambaye alikuwa na ubiri. The food steps, other part of the Lima, a little part of the Lima, when he was uh, uh, ascending the, to heaven, where he stood, where the Jerusalem was built. People go to see this land, the landmarks of Jesus Christ, where he was in the places where he was born. The, 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 uh, the Bible says he was born in Bethlehem of Judah. Do we have a city like that? I don't like that, Bethlehem? Actually, end up, we have a city like that in Israel. And I, I would like to speak one thing. We cannot give an history from nothing. Yeah. We give an history from something that existed. So we don't read something that is not there. We read an history of something that is there. And that is why we believe in the Bible that Jesus Christ lived 2,000 years ago and he came to save the human race. The death of Jesus Christ. And we can also read that there are there are many historical sites in Israel. The tomb of Jesus Christ, where many people have gone to visit. They are also where he was born. The mangas also, they are there. So it is not something that has happened now. That, but there are things that we can prove that Jesus Christ lived and he's still there with us after he went to heaven. Now, when we have read this history, where is it leading us to? Is it the reading as to have it? What can you say history and faith? When we are now, we have read the, that the Bible is full of history. What does this history have in our faith? What does it do with our faith? In our history, uh, <clears throat> you know, like uh, history always has a, it, uh, it's an account of Kitu Ilifanyika and it's leading us somewhere. You know, if you believe that all these things existed, then uh, we must believe that there must be an end for history. There must be an end, of, that is the coming of Christ. And, um, you know, a good example, I'm just trying to imagine, like, as Kenyans, yes? Reading Madaraka Day, yes? It's, a, it's a, a, just an example, not an example, it's a fact that uh, we were colonized, uh, my history, we were colonized, and um, the Museum of Kenyatta and those, uh, all those people, they really fought for independence, and we gained our independence. And we believe it because it's the truth. We are really to like govern this way. And uh, you know, based on the Bible, for example, uh, the, all these things that have been written, they happened. And uh, you know, the lesson this week is just trying to compare what is written in the Bible and what the scientists and those archaeologists have in store. And uh, they are really the same thing. And uh, all these things are just to make us believe and know that uh, there is a God. There is a God. And he's the creator of the whole universe, and all these things are here to build our faith, to make us believe more in his word, and know that for sure, if um, Sodom and Gomorrah existed, and God rained uh, the sun for fire from heaven, it means that hell, there shall be hell somewhere, and for sure, this this world will burn someday. You know, like Christ is also coming. So it's not some stories, some abunwas we are hearing here and there. We should believe that just as these things are written in the Bible, you know, someone who does a scare come at the time of Babel and you're like, that's a, that's a fake thing. It, everybody used to speak one language. It's all, a, it's all a fake thing, but it is the truth. And all these things are just to build our faith and make us believe more that um, this Bible that has existed for more than 2,000 years, and with it, of all the books, it's God that has been read for, like it has been translated in like all other languages. It is untrue, and God wants us to understand His one more and prepare us for His coming. So it increases our faith. Yeah, as it increases our faith, that's why we have now 
when we got the Bible, when we read the people like Abraham, Noah, Sarah, Joseph, Moses, Rab, and Samson. For example, let us talk about like you know, God is telling him, and of Jenny, Safina. How how do you think? How 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 would you expect Noah to trust this one and the one build? I mean an ark. Okay, anyway, it just took faith because you know building an ark where rain it's has. Faith. And what what is faith now? Faith is believing in something that you have not seen. So Noah actually trusted in God because he had never seen like rain. God he he trusted, he trusted the word of God. Yeah, he trusted the word of God. Because the Bible says that it, the, 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 what God used to order the earth from in it. And now he's preaching a gospel here that it is going to do what? To rain. You know, it could not sink into people's mind. But now he's preaching that because he had what? He had faith. And that is why you find Noah and his family, because of that faith, he's being saved. Yeah. You see, it, when you had something to say. I think, yeah, of course, in line with this, and don't want to be out of pocket so much, but there's a very important question you asked about how do all these histories connect with our development of faith. And I wanted to read two best chapters, first, so that uh, we can build on this yeah, yeah. and discuss about the faith and histories. That is, uh, in addition to what uh, Brother Kevin has said about Hebrews 11, verse 1, and uh, Romans 15 verse 4. So let's start from Hebrews 11 verse 1. The Bible says that now faith is substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So it is substance of things hoped for, hoped for, and evidence of things what? Not, not seen. And now when you read about Romans 15 verse 4, Paul is telling us something that for whatever things were written before were written for our learning. And we through the patience and the comfort of scriptures might have hope. So, in other words, we are learning about this man Noah who built an ark when we know that there was no rain that ever rained from above. God used to water the world from him, from below. But so we see a man out of faith, he has believed in God and he has endeavored to build an ark in the uh, wherever where they have never seen him. So when we see all this, uh, when we see the account of all these things, in fact now they kind of lay a firm foundation of uh, is now established in the, uh, the rock or uh, by assuring us that if, this, if all these things happen because of God and we have seen God, uh, God always coming in aid of those who trust in Him, also we can uh, just cry and trust Him. Whatever God commands us to do, whatever God demands from us, it is for our own good, and He demands that we send to Him so that He can deliver us from the evil one. So whatever was written, it was written for our what? Our land. Now, since the man in the end, in the end, what He demands to us is the foundation. Do not have one bar. No, and that one big one, a change is sufficient. Mufua haiko inanyesha. Like in a kambi, we tafanya nini? Mufua itanyesha. Yeye a kambi ni. Akaenda, akaanza kujenga safina katika hini hiliyo na mnagani. Iti kafu. Unapo toka kwa, uh, kwa nuhu, unahenda kwa Abraham. Abraham ambaye alikuwa amezaleo katika hini ya uhu. Mungu anamujia na mwambia ondoka.
stanza a yes one. Just listen to the words of that stanza. Just a cappella. Listen. A yes one. Let's go. A yes one. Niwe wako. Wako kabisa.
the last stanza a yes one just listen to the words of that stanza just a cappella listen a yes let's go a yes See? 